Remember X Factor's Diana Vickers? You won't believe what she's up to now. Each year, people line up in their thousands to sing for Simon Cowell's ever changing judges lineup, with the hope of winning over the nation and securing a huge record deal with the media mogul Sicko. Back in 2008, Diana Vickers auditioned for the ITV singing competition at just 16, performing a rendition of The Blower's Daughter by Damie and Rice and made it through to the semi-final, before being given the boot. Now, 26-year-old Diana is starring in new musical Son of a Preacher Man. Talking about the new production, Diana recently told Christine Lampard on Lorraine, the show is, about a preacher man who was meant to be this love life guru back in the 60s. He used to have this shop on Dean Street where he'd dish out all of this advice. But the play is set in the modern day. It's about people from three different generations. We've all had our hearts broken in one way or another and we're trying to look for the preacher man, but who's not there. So we turn to the son of the preacher man. A simple scroll through the Vixen's social media, such as the official Diana Vickers Instagram account, will show that the bombshell has certainly grown up. Gone is the bird's nest, and in its place are long sleek glossy locks. The starlet is also a bit of a fashionista too, judging by her outfit combinations. Back in 2008, Diana Vickers auditioned for the ITV singing competition performing a rendition of The Blower's Daughter by Damie and Rice and made it through to the live shows. It's about people from three different generations. We've all had our hearts broken in one way or another and we're trying to look for the preacher man, but who's not there. So we turn to the son of the preacher man Diana Vickers regularly performing barefoot and rocking big back combed hair, Diana earned herself the title of a little hippie. Vickers made it through nine weeks of performances until the semi-final, where she was eliminated in fourth place. After starring on the ITV show, Diana landed the lead role in the West End production of The Rise and Fall of Little Voice. Her debut single, Once, was an electro-pop rock banger and went straight to the top of the charts in 2010. Diana's debut album Songs from the Tainted Cherry Tree also debuted at No One on the UK album's chart, selling 35,951 copies in its first week. The following year, Diana took to her official Tumblr account to reveal that she had parted company with RCA Records, due to creative differences. It was later reported her departure was due to wanting to take a more indie and less commercial route with her sound, coupled with a breakdown in the professional relationship with Sony Music, due to Craig Logan from RCA Records leaving, as he had originally signed her to the label. In 2013, 
Diana released her second album, Music to Make Boys Cry via So Recordings, which peaked at No. 37.